boys and girls, my name is Halsa C and welcome back to another day in Minecraft where we will not mine today as well. Uh, you can check out the uh, intro section of uh, this series for more details. But we are at the other end of the cobblestone farm we built back there and over there more exactly over that hole in the ground we will have another farm with uh, village breeder and as village breeder sometimes can uh, interfere or be interfered with other villager uh, related projects that go over to that end i think having it as far apart as possible is probably a good idea so let's get started the burrito cell now is complete we have a farm area here where uh, these two villages down there will get into uh, they will farm carrots uh, they will share carrots and that will encourage them to breed and then as we have beds over here with trap doors like that the uh, baby villagers can fit through this one high gap uh, run over to the beds to jump on them and on here we have the shut off uh, which will uh, basically prevent the villagers seeing the bats. If they don't see the bats, they will not breed. And by the way, this is a design by uh, Logical Geek Boy. Uh, as always, link to his video down in the description. And you can see we are quite high. That's because down there, on that level, there will be another platform that we will use later on but the next step is to have the collection systems towards this side for the for the babies and then a holding area um, so we can uh, hold any grown-up villages the collection area now is also done the baby villages will drop down into this water stream and then sit on this uh, wall here and as the wall is half block higher uh, than anything else when they grow up they will have their heads in the water source up there get sucked up and then over here uh, they will be pushed in that corner over there where we can install a pickup system but now to the funny part getting the two villages sitting down there in the water up into the farm and then there is also a chance that um, they could be struck by lightning uh, so we will have to put a roof over it but as I want to add a second form on top we will put the second form there and then have uh, uh, the roof over the second form that should do for platform villages can be moved up either by water stream or by using pistons using a sticky piston like i do here has the advantage that when the piston retracts the block in front of the piston also retracts and i get a space in between where i can add another block to be pushed downside is that at the bottom you need to have the piston quite a few blocks below but in the end, it worked out fine. I have placed here some rails for the pickup of our farm, which will be a wheat farm. So this 
Hopper minecart will collect the wheat and the seeds and uh, unload it into the hopper below. And the uh, powered rail is depowered as long as there are items in the hopper or we have shut off the system. Down there, as you can see, we have some baby villages as well as a grown-up, so the farm is working and uh, I'm getting wet. So I will have to do a bit more work on the uh, upper layer before we can actually uh, finish that farming project as well. With the wheat farm up there now completed, let's see if we can get a villager up there using minecarts. And as I am a bit short of gold for powered rails, uh, let's try to see if we can make this work um, with... Uh, Minecart furnace to push to push and hopefully we succeed. Yes. Arrived here. Let's break the minecart. In you go. Need a bit of clean up here. What do I have? Yes, I have a hoe. And there you are. And with the trapdoors there in the middle, uh, the farmer cannot put anything in the composter and uh, when his inventory is full the wheat and the seeds will keep laying around the, the floor there and we can collect. Nice! That's how I like it. And uh, with that, we are at the end of today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you soon uh, with another form. Until then, goodbye.